Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can teleport from one place to another using a trigger in Unity. And when you enter the trigger, you get the prompt to teleport. If you don't want to, you can just walk away. Or if you click the button that's assigned, you teleport. It's pretty simple. Let me show you how it looks. So basically, you just walk around. And the, the trigger is right over here. You, when you walk into it, it says E to teleport. And when you click E, you teleport up here where you place an empty game object, which is going to be your teleport position. The script is pretty simple. Um, I have a public game object uh, called UI, which is the thing that you saw below. Press E to teleport. You have a public game object object to teleport. That's your that's the thing that you want to teleport. So you don't have to teleport your player. You can enter the trigger with your player. And for example, put a different object, object so a different object could teleport. You can like make some puzzles with that if you like, but I just use the player for now. Uh, public transform TP location, which is the teleport location. In the start function, I state that the UI is false because we do not want to see the press E to teleport if we're not in the teleport trigger. Void on trigger stay, collider other, this just checks if the um, collided thing is the player as you can see here if the other dot game object dot tag is player so if it's tagged player you can uh, teleport but you also have to press E so while you're in the trigger and the thing that it's in the trigger is tagged player and you press E you're going to object dot TP which is the player this in this uh, case dot transform dot position so we're accessing its position is equal to the transform to, to the teleport location dot transform dot position so we're just making the player's position equal to the teleport location or teleport locations position also when we are in the trigger we want to say that uh, the ui is true and it's uh, we can see it because while we're in the trigger we want to be prompt if we can teleport or not also when we exit the trigger um, the UI is false because we do not want to see it anymore so yeah I guess it's pretty simple you create a um, you walk in uh, you can see E to teleport you walk out it disappears so basically the thing you do is you make a cube um, you add a you make it a trigger that's very important make your sure player or Kakashi in this case is tagged player also, um, you have to make the you, you add the teleport script to the box, the whatever shape you have. Um, for the UI, you have to go to game object, um, game object UI, and create a text image or whatever you want. I've made a let me show you. Um, I've made a text that says E to teleport. Put the anchor point um, down, as you can see. Um, called it e to teleport this doesn't even matter i guess um so yeah uh if you can't see the things that you made you have to click on 2d and then you can click f to center on the object um also you have to make an empty game object by going game object create empty you can make it a child of the teleport because i usually do that because if you have a lot of teleports and teleport positions you won't really know which teleport position is attached to which teleport trigger so I usually make it child so here's the teleport and the teleport position I made it on the roof and yeah I guess you just attach the teleport position to here and you're set to go so yeah if, if that was useful to you I know it's a short tutorial but I'm working on something else um, that takes a bit of time to for me to figure it out so i can't really figure it out that easy plus the school and everything started and um the studies have began etc so i can't really uh, put a lot of time into this i can make basic short tutorials that are pretty useful i guess to some people some might not be but yeah if you need a tutorial or something that's pretty simple um i can tell you in the comments how to do it or i can make a video on it depends on if the topic is relatable or not but for something a bit more difficult i need a bit more time so i hope you can understand that so yeah thanks you thank you for watching the video if you liked it leave a like and uh, subscribe for future videos see ya